Okay, well, here we are on my desktop, and I've already installed the 64-bit variant of Java. Uh, it's probably worth pointing out that it's um, a good idea to look for the offline Java installer and download the 64-bit uh, version from there, uh, just to make sure that you get the right version because the 32-bit version won't work with uh, this version of Eclipse and will give you some difficulties. So yeah, look for the, uh, the offline Java installer uh, when it comes to installing Java. Uh, I've also installed the J-Link uh, from Sega, that's the uh, debugger software. And we've installed the RSL 10 software development kit and uh, we've run the SDK up and here we are with a nice little welcome window, um, which is nice, but um, we don't actually need anything from that. So we'll just get rid of that um, for the moment. Now, what we do need, though, are the uh, Cortex microcontroller software packs, the CMSIS packs that you can also download from the On Semiconductor website. So uh, the first thing that we need to do with those is set up the root directory for them. So what we'll do is we'll go into Preferences and CMSIS Packs and we'll put uh, the root folder as. Now I've already set one up on here. So uh, let's just find it if I can. And uh, yeah, I'll put it under here and projects and RSL 10. So that's it. We want to put them in the CMSIS folder. Excellent. So uh, we'll apply and close that. So our uh, packs will run from there. And then the next thing we need to do is change the perspective. So we will open the pack manager perspective. There we go. And here we are in the pack manager. So we will need to import them. So import existing packs. Now we're going to install the RSL 10 uh, pack first because the other pack has some dependencies on this one being installed. So click on that and open. And that will take a moment or two to import. And we need to agree to the license agreement. OK. And we're nearly done. Yep, completed. Fantastic. Right, so we'll do the same again for the other pack. Uh, there we go. And that's uh, importing. And agree to the license. There we go. Nearly done. OK. And done. Brilliant. OK, well, we can't see anything at the moment, so let's just uh, reload the packs. There we go. And uh, we can see them. And uh, we can see that we have the RSL pack installed. And what also installs with this are a lot of examples. So you can see that um, there's a lot of BLE controlled examples um, and I2C. So pretty much every aspect of the RSL 10 device, by the look of it, is covered by this uh, and across different um, dev kits as well. So I think what we need to do in, uh, in time-honored fashion, we need to do the Hello World program. So in this case, it's Blinky. Uh, that's my dev kit. So we'll copy that and copy. OK, so our project has been loaded. Let's open that up. You can see the source files. Uh, there we go. There's the, the source files. And it's a nice, simple toggling of the LED there. OK, brilliant. So what we ought to do then, I guess, is build the project. So let's have a build project. There we go. So we're making all. It'll take a moment or two to 
compile uh, nearly done yep 19 seconds okay so if we have a look okay well we'll, we'll have to refresh this uh, refresh refresh there we go refresh and there we go we have the files that we expect so we've got the hex file which is what goes into the flash memory of the RSL device and this is the ELF file that uh, runs from RAM and we use for debugging so uh, let's uh, pull the debugger up then let's um, uh, come on mouse debug as uh, debug configurations so we're going to use the Sega J link, so let's uh, double click on that, set it up, come on, uh, move that across, debugger. Okay, so yeah, it's RSL10, and I don't think we need to change anything else. Nope, okay, so we debug, and once that's rebuilt, it will offer us the um, debug perspective. And there we go. 14 seconds. So, yep, we uh, agree to that. And here we are in the debugger. So, as you might expect, uh, you can step into functions, step over functions. You can uh, set your breakpoints uh, just as you would with any other debug situation. Now, just to keep this video short, we won't uh, look too much further into that. But one last thing I suppose would be good to, to show before we finish up is this RTT viewer, which we set up yep, onto USB, um, acts as a console so that we can see what's going on with our downloaded program on the RSL dev kit board and um, all very pretty so that is a quick tour of the RSL 10 dev kit and SDK